Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark, and I and there's Thomas inside. I don't know if you can hear. Say hi, Thomas. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but he's in there. Um, but I kind of did a thing. Uh, I went from this blue oval to this blue oval. Well, there's actually no blue oval on it. There's just a nice little Mustang emblem on the front. This is my 2014 Mustang. I've had it for a couple days now, and it's gonna replace probably my Subaru or my well, BMW, we'll see how it goes. But this is my new track car, daily driver, whatever you wanna call it. So I did end up getting the one with the leather interior. This is the premium one. Um, the leather's quite nice for most so that all the hair doesn't stick to the seat like they do in the cloth. Well, there's a little hair here, but look, it wipes off all clean. So, and I also got one with the little shifting knob in the middle so I can roll through gears as I drive down the road. Now this is a manual, so it is gonna be a little bit slower in when I do autocross or the track. I'll get a little faster at it, but nothing's near as fast as an automatic is now, like honestly. I don't wanna launch it near as hard as I can in an automatic. I don't wanna have to keep replacing the clutch on this thing. Uh, eventually down the road, I will upgrade the clutch, so before that happens, maybe I'll do a couple launches before then. Or, I don't know, I might get excited on the drag strip and launch it anyway. I may have gotten a little bit bird poo on the front of here and destroyed this sticker, so I'm gonna end up taking these stickers off here in just a minute. But, this, the whole reason I bought this car. Nice Coyote V8. A little bit faster than Stephanie's car. So she's a little happy now that we now match. We could drive up together and be in our little Mustang club by ourselves. All right, so I just sold the Subaru. Uh, I'm in it right now. I'm delivering it to the guy's house and he's gonna take me home, but it's gone. Now it's no longer mine. I've had it for about five years now and it's treated me very well. Hopefully it'll treat him very well. And you know, it's been one of the most reliable vehicles that I've had, and also it's been one of the longest vehicles I've ever owned. I've always bought a new, you know, for the longest time, it was about every two years I'd buy a different vehicle, and then every other year after that I would buy a motorcycle, but I haven't had a motorcycle in a little while since it, I go everywhere with Moose, and it's really hard to, he doesn't want to sit on the back, we'll just go with that. Maybe I'll get him a bike with a sidecar and see how he likes that, but I probably won't because I don't really like sidecars that much. So I have a couple cars. Now I'm down to the, I no longer have the Subaru and I gotta fix the BMW now. That way I can go race again. So ever since I was a kid, I wanted to have a Mustang. I don't know why it took me until I was 33 to get my first one. I always seem to come up with some kind of excuse of why I shouldn't get one or like, I don't know. I, I bought the BMW before I bought the Mustang. And honestly, like I should have got the Mustang first. So this is a 2014 Mustang. Uh, I was originally looking at getting a 2015 Mustang or newer, but for right now, for some reason, all of them in the area or even in like Southern California and Utah, they're all in the like high 20s, low $30,000 range. And I didn't want to spend that much. I only spent 19 on this one and this is only a year older. So I don't really think the $10,000 difference was really worth it. Maybe one day when they get a little bit cheaper, or, you know, I get tired of this one or something, I'll get a newer one. So being a 2014, this is the last year of this body style. And this is also the last year that they put a solid rear axle in the back of these cars. Uh, all the 2015 and newer ones have an independent rear suspension, which makes them handle a little bit better on the track and autocross, which is what I like to do. This is why I buy my cars to go out and have fun and do track days. And you know, I want it to handle a little bit better, but I can throw some suspension upgrades at this thing, which is gonna get in the near future. And I can still go out there and do that and have fun. It just won't handle quite as well as I want it to. Now, when I was originally looking for a car, I was actually looking for a Camaro. Uh, the reasoning for that is that they are a little bit lighter and they are a little bit more powerful from the factory and they have the independent rear suspension, so they handle a little bit better than what the Mustang does. But they are also a little bit more expensive and I found this one at a really good deal and I really wanted a Mustang as well, so I ended up getting this one. All right, time for the first modification of the car. This stupid antenna. Yeah. 
Now I got 500 horsepower. Look at that. All right, so now I have the car. It's time to start modifying it because who wants a stock car? Well, some people do, but I don't. So let's go ahead and change it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off all these little little wrap stripes that they have on here. I don't really like it that much. It looks okay, but I think it would look a lot better without it. So let's go ahead and start taking that off. It's pretty easy. It's been sitting out in the sun. So it's nice and warm. Plus they want to take these off anyway. Like that. Makes a cool noise. Oh, I can't reach that far. Not long enough. Leaves a little bit of the gooey line, but we could take that off. Alright, so I got the sticker off of the hood, but I don't know how well you can see it. There's that residue still left on here. Uh, I'm going to run to the store real quick and get some of that adhesive remover before they close. And then I can work on the roof and the trunk lid. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, so I got the stripes off of the hood. And I don't know if you can see it in the light or not, but there's actually different colors from where the stripes were. So it's a little bit darker and then it's a little faded out here. And it kind of gives it like a little ghost stripe appearance there. And I think it looks really good that way, and I'm not even, I'm not even bothered by it. I still got a little bit of the glue left that I gotta go and buff off. Now, one thing I really like about the factory hood is these are actually functional vents. It goes down inside of the the hood. Let me pop it. Oh, let me walk back here and pop the hood. Apparently, I should have done that first. Bam! I don't know why I have to bam everything, but both the vents there. Maybe if I can get it open. This feels like a two-handed job. Ugh. All right, there, now we got it open. So it actually, they're blocked off a little bit by these little covers. Uh, it's supposed to help with the rain so it doesn't drip down on stuff. But I'll probably do what everybody else does and I'm gonna cut them out. That way I can get a little bit more floral going through these little vent holes there. But what I really wanna do is I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna paint them black. So without the little stripe there, or like the little ghost stripe that's still there, I think these would look a lot better if they were black. So now that I got the sweet stubby antenna on there, uh, I do have a spoiler that's coming in for this thing. I don't have it here, it's supposed to be here next week. But I do have a new chin spoiler. So I wanted to make the front look a little bit more aggressive. Like it still looks good now, but the lip on it is a little bit small. So here, let me see if I can give you a little idea of what it's about to look like. Set this down underneath here. So, that one is a little bit bigger. It's gonna stick out more, uh, make it look a little bit lower to the ground in the front and make it give it a little bit more of an aggressive look, which is what I'm going for. Well, there are the two lips next to each other. All right, guys, so I'm gonna apologize in advance. It's a bit windy out here. Um, it's the next day now. I had to go pick up Steph last night, so I had to rush and put everything back together so I didn't get a chance to video anything. But I really like how this thing turned out. Like, look at it now. So that new front lip makes it look a little bit lower to the ground, which right now it's not too big of a problem. I haven't scraped on anything yet, but I know in the near future when I lower this thing, it's definitely gonna start scraping. I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful. So I'm gonna try not to scrape on stuff. But I did finally get all of the wrap that was on here off. I got all of the goo off, and now it looks a lot nicer. I didn't mind them before, but I really wanted them off. I didn't like them that much. And it took me a little bit of a while to go through. I had to buff everything off, get all the sticky done, or the sticky stuff off. Now, if you look here, you can see, I still really don't know how well it shows up in the video, but like the two different colors, it gives it like a nice little ghost pinstripe kind of looking thing, uh, which I really enjoy. Now, on the next video, I'm gonna have to address probably the most the biggest problem I have with this car, the exhaust. Because that exhaust is way too quiet. And I'm gonna have to fix that. I already got a cab back ordered, so hopefully here soon it'll get, well, it's supposed to be here on Monday. Um, and I'll probably be doing that on Tuesday night or Monday night. We'll see how things go. You guys
guys like what you saw, smash that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way the next time I post a video on one of my cars, you guys will be the first to know. Also, I'll leave my Instagram link down below. Thank you guys. I will see you next video.